It's an honor and it's a thrill. And right. I mean, every time we get to do this in New York, it yeah, just yeah, feels yeah. so full circle. Yeah. Because this is where the show was born and where we get to share it with our Broadway family. That's and good. it's just really beautiful. One. It's, it's like so the most special. iconic place in, in New York to be here with this particular movie is really wonderful. We've got loads of friends from Broadway in the house as well. It's great. We worked so hard That's right. and we cared so much about it and yeah. we are those Wicked fans who have been waiting for this for 21 years. We just so happen to be lucky enough to <laughs> have been chosen to be a part of it and yeah. we know what a big responsibility that is and you know we worked really hard um, to take care of it so when they meet us with that love and when they do show us so much positivity it's just really there are no words we're so grateful. To be able to see all the fans around the world who love this piece just as much as we do has been a, an absolute privilege. They're so warm and inviting and we hope we do them proud. We love fashion, it's you know, one of our second languages to be honest, we're, we're fans of it. And I think in this particular film we are lucky enough to have Paul Tazewell who makes oh, yeah. these incredible costumes to tell the story through the, the clothes that we wear. He knows us intimately and, and loves the, the fact that we love fashion so made sure that those costumes felt good for us to wear too. Yeah. We all started out in theatre. I'm a massive fan of uh, Broadway and obviously the West End, but there's something about New York and theatre here. I saw Sunset Boulevard last night and it blew my mind and I just think it's all about eight shows a week and the people who are doing that uh, day in day out and uh, I hope that this version of a film is a, a love letter to, to theatre and also to all the people who are doing this eight shows a week. I think it's been amazing to see the reactions like you know at first I usually always like hold it a little bit at bay don't let it in but it's been so long now and so many people from all around the world have, have just been like putting piles and piles of compliments and speaking of this movie in terms that I believe the movie is. That's very rare that what I think of the movie people are thinking. Um, I think we're at a time where we want this optimism. We want to watch someone who's a warrior rise above it all. And I think that that strength is contagious. And I think that these two ladies is a discovery actually, even though you think you know exactly what they are, when you see them in this movie, you will rediscover. And I think you will find a bona fide movie stars that, um, that motivate you uh, to keep that optimism going and to keep walking forward. <laughs> I was ready for the premiere in LA. That morning my wife bumps me, her water broke. So I put my suit down and we went to the hospital, but no, no better way to uh, bring in this movie with new life. And I feel very uh, blessed and my heart is very full. It's so fun. I mean, New York is, it's like this huge place, but it also feels like a small community. And so it feels like kind of bringing it home for me. And I'm from, well, not from here, but I feel like I'm from here. and. Uh, I love the theater community here and the film community here, so it just feels really beautiful. I don't, I'm excited. Well, it's been thrilling. It's been like kind of crazy, actually, because we went to Australia, we went to Los Angeles, and everywhere we've just been seeing Wicked fans from around the globe who just love this show already. And having people embrace us as part of that legacy has been really moving and heartwarming, and I feel like that's even amplified in New York because this is where it you know, Wicked Broadway, not began, but really flourished. I think so. I think there's like a lot of beautiful themes in this, sh in this, uh, in this movie. And I think the biggest one for me is that story of, of friendship and the nuance in those relationships and what it means to, to recognize and see somebody for who they are and how their differences, how our differences make us powerful and, and make us more united if we let them. Look, it, it is a lot of hard work, but at the end of the day, what a blessing and a privilege to love your work so much that it doesn't feel hard. You know, lots of hours, a lot of, you know, homework uh, before showing up to set or promoting the movie. Um, but I'm so proud to be a part of it, and I have been from day one, and I believe in it so much that it just doesn't feel difficult. And I'm really, I'm grateful for that. You can't ask for anything more. It feels amazing, very full circle for the fans especially, and just also just, I don't know, just, I love the whole vibe of New York in general, just like Broadway and the lights and all of it, great. <laughs> so much has grown since it obviously first opened on Broadway, and it's become so, rightfully so, beloved, and just to be here back in New York where it all began is just so, so great and so cool. 
Paul Taswell, just his mind, I love it so bad. Like he is so, all the detail he puts into everything and he's just so smart and just definitely, I did not, but I definitely did want to keep a few pieces with me for sure. It feels like the true like Olympic torch victory run moment. Like, yeah, yeah, we're bringing it home. It's wild. I went two avenues over to the Gershwin when I was a kid just to like press my face up against the glass. It's wild that we're back. It was so fun. Yes. Adi and I had a great time. First we both thought, should we be in that? Like, it's their movie now. It's their role now. It's their moment. But Mark Platt really said, and John Chu, they really said, we really mean it. Like, without you guys, we wouldn't have a movie. So please, please be a part of it. And that's where they got me. Because I was like, oh my gosh, thank you. There's a moment in the movie that I love, and it's where Glinda says to Elphaba before they meet the wizard, and Elphaba's so scared, and she says, you can do this, you can do anything. That's the theme, that's the moment for me. Yes, they sing beautifully, but when they say that and they have that moment, to me, that's the moment. Anna Wintour decided to have it here. It's very classy. Um, <laughs> I'm from Oklahoma, so anything is just beautiful to me. But I love that it's a creative space, and, our, and the movie is such a creative m m moment. In fact, I think it'll be a new classic, and it just seems like the right place here in New York City to have it. She was very wise. John asked me what my goal for the movie was when we first started prepping the movie and I said that it would be the greatest love story ever told between these two women, these two best friends, and I, and I hope everyone feels that at the end of the film. I've been working on this movie for three and a half years, almost four years, and, and you get really nervous to let it out into the world and now that we are and people just love it, it just feels so wonderful and magical and beautiful. It reminds me of when I was at theater camp and this musical came out. It was, it was in L.A., but I just remember how it made me feel and how, it, how, how um, yeah, just powerful it was to me as a little kid. So now just being a part of it here now in New York, having this moment, it's surreal, to be honest. It's really like a pinch me moment. I, you know, I would have never thought that I was going to be the guy back then to be here now. And it just makes me think of what this movie means and what it really stands for, just like, you know, unlim being un feeling unlimited and, and making your dreams come true, you know, and um, here I am. It's crazy. I started this thing feeling an immense amount of pressure, um, you know, and really I think over time just having more and more conversations with John Chu, our director, and even Mark Platt, um, you know, and, and Stephen Schwartz, and everybody just, like, gradually I just started to feel that pressure go away and it just reminded me of, like, I'm in this company of these brilliant storytellers and artists. You're a piece of the puzzle. Just have fun doing it. Don't forget where you are. We're in Oz. You know, don't forget why we're doing this. Don't forget what the story is. And just let everything else fall in place. It's great to be in New York where we launched the, uh, the, the play so many years ago. I think 22 years ago now. So it feels like home for Wicked. But because it's a film, um, we're happy that it's going to fly all over the world. It's very gratifying. I was uh, fortunate that the musical on stage uh, found global audiences and has for 22 years and still growing strong. So it was a lot of trepidation thinking about a movie that could live up to that and thankfully I found all the right folks starting with John Chu, with such a brilliant director, our amazing cast led by Cynthia and Ariana and to have the film be as satisfying in its own cinematic way and give a experience that is pays homage and honor to the original but delivers something original on its own has been quite quite exciting and gratifying. I read Greg McGuire's novel some 24, 25 years ago, was very taken with it, started to develop it as a film and then Stephen Schwartz, the great composer, called me and said, I think this should be a musical and the moment he said I thought that's a great idea. So we took a turn away from film put it up on stage. That was an extraordinary journey, as putting any new musical on stage is. And it came out really well, and it flourished around the world, and now it felt like the time was right to reinterpret it for film, and that's what we've done. Well, it was a huge inspiration for many of the looks that are in the film. I mean, you know, and Vogue is always uh, on point and fashion forward, and I was hoping to bring that to this film. So 
you know, it, it, this is a wonderful uh, moment to share this with, with Vogue.